What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we're talking about Power Automate and the Excel Online Business Connector, and we're going to look at the action, which is add a row into a table. So this action allows you to add a new row into a table of data that you've already got set up in your OneDrive or in your SharePoint inside of an Excel file, or the other way around. Um, so you can add a row into an Excel file that will be stored in your SharePoint or OneDrive, that's what I mean. Um, it's been a long day. So that's the action I want to take a look at today. So let's just jump straight into it. So we're in Power Automate here. I have a manual trigger because I don't need any other data. And click on New Step and then go to Excel Online Business. And I can scroll down until we get to add a row into a table. Now, I'm going, to ask, I'm going to be asked for several pieces of information. I'm going to be asked for the location, the document library, the file, and the table. So location, as I mentioned at the start of this video, not very eloquently, uh, the file needs to be in either your OneDrive for Business or your OneDrive or your SharePoint um, site. So in my instance, I've got it in my OneDrive for Business, but I do also have access to my SharePoint sites here, which are denoted by these groups because uh, I have multiple um, SharePoints or Office 365 groups of SharePoint sites associated with them. That's why I could choose one of these. In this instance, I'm just trying to choose OneDrive for Business. Next, I'm going to choose Document Library. I'm going to choose this top one here. Uh, I'm not sure why there's two. If you know, let me know down below. Uh, file, we need to find the file that we're referring to as well. So in this instance, I'm going to choose the picker. I'm going to scroll down to my Power Automate folder, and then I have a I have an Excel spreadsheet here called Flowbook, which I've used for all these videos, which you'll probably be very familiar with now. Next, we need to choose a table. So I only have a single table inside of my spreadsheet, but you can choose multiple table, like choose a different table if you have uh, multiple. And as soon as I choose a table, it's then going to pull through a list of columns inside that table for me to populate data with. So I've got these five columns inside of my spreadsheet, name, age, occupation, aka, and location. So I can fill all these, all these parts in. Now I could do this with direct content. So if I'm getting data from another source, I could add this source as rows of data into my table using Power Automate, and that's the way I could do it. In this instance, just to show you how this works, I'm just going to add this in manually. So name, I'm going to choose Victor Stone. Age, we're going to say 24. Occupation, student, aka cyborg. Uh, and location is going to be central city. And there we go. So this is going to add a new row into that table of data. So we're going to hit save and then test. Or code just hit test and then save and test, but we've done it this way now. Test, I'll perform trigger action, save and test. And before I run the flow, I'm actually going to go and show you my show you my workbook. So this is my workbook currently. We have six entries in here. So Wally West, John Stewart, John Jones, Diana Prince, Arthur Corey, and Bruce Wayne. And then we have all of these columns of data. And then we'll go back to our flow and we'll click run the flow click done, flow is running, and then hopefully it will, yeah, there we go. So owner of business, uh, and we can see we've added these in and we can confirm it. Then we, so we get the, the output here being everything that we put in. And then we have our JSON here to say, yes, that's gone in. And if we go back to our workbook, we can see there's a new line and we have all of this data in here. So it's as easy as that. It's just a case of just adding in, so finding the table, find the document, um, and it'll give you the schema for the columns, and then you just need to fill those in. So this is a great action. This is a great way to store data in your Excel spreadsheets. So you could be passing data from maybe another another business and maybe dumping it into not another business, another like application, and dumping it into your Excel spreadsheets. You could take data from your Power Apps and then um, put that into Excel or do something else with it. Let me know what you guys think, what to use it for. Let me know in the comments down below. Um, if you enjoyed this video and you found it useful, if you could drop a like on it and maybe share it with a friend, that would really help me grow this channel. If you've not already, hit the subscribe button and stay up to date with all my latest videos. And I'll see you next time.